Okay, now we study the Green Theorem. Green Theorem is the most important and beautiful theorem for plan uh, nine integrals. Uh, we can use Green Theorem. We can evaluate many uh, many important uh, line integrals. Uh, to start with, we have some definitions. First, the orientation. Our boundary curve. Our boundary curve of our domain. We already know that uh, uh, we already know the, cons the the definition of connected and uh, simply connected domain. For simply connected domain, its uh, its orientation or its positive direction. Our boundary curve that is when we uh, walk up, walk along the curve the interior of this domain is still on your left that is uh, interior of the domain is on your left if walk along the under curve That's the interior. Uh, that, that's the positive direction of the boundary curve. That's the orientation. Well, any other uh, for general or for uh, any other connected uh, as complex connected for this domain. The outer boundary is this direction because we, when we walk along the curve, the interior is on our left hand side. But if we walk along the curve, the inner curve, inner boundary, the positive, the positive, uh, the positive direction of is like this. As for complex, uh, complex uh, connected, complex connected domain. Uh, what is complex uh, complex uh, connected domain? That is. Mm, connected but not simply connected uh, that's the uh, uh, that that is simple. Uh, the com complex connected domain is like use this direction. Always use uh, the uh, always use this uh, orientation. That is when you uh, walk along the boundary curve, the interior uh, 
the interior of the domain is still on your left. And the third one is positive uh, orientation or oh, oh, closed curve. Closed curve always use the uh, always use the counterclockwise for simple uh, for closed curl we always use this direction as a positive direction now we stage the green theorem The green theorem that is can uh, use to use the double integral to evaluate the line integral, and uh, the theorem says that uh, if d is uh, simply connected. Simply connected domain and F we can write as P X Y I plus Q X Y J. Uh, is a vector field. D P X Y and uh, Q X Y have continuous first derivative on D. The line integral, the closed line integral, p x y d x plus q x y. Uh, we can write first uh, d y is actually the line integral l f d r can be right uh, can be used can be evaluated use the double integral right here can be a red edge use double integral uh, partial q partial x minus partial p partial y and then d x d y that's green theorem We use use double integral to evaluate line integral. Okay, now we prove prove this theorem. Uh, at first, I assume d is a convex domain. Like this, it's a convex convex domain. Here, if x is bounded by a b, if the domain is bounded by uh, x y, x from a to b, y as g two x and uh, g1x uh, 
that is here, here, this g2x, y equals g2x, and this is y equals g1x, and uh, oh, where we should actually, uh, where l is positive or negative. Okay, so the positive orientation for the L is used here. So uh, we uh, first we consider the P X Y D X. First we consider this part. Uh, this this part. Actually, we can divide in two, in, uh, divide the uh, closed in, uh, line integral in two line integral. We call this as L1, this is L2. On L1, L1 PXY DX plus L2 uh, PXY DX. On L1, that is y equals g1 x x from a to b and on l2 that is y equals g2 x but x is from b to a so l1 p x y dx plus L2 PXY DX for L1 AX is from A to B and Y is G1X DX and for L2 X is from B to A that's P X Y S G two X and then D X. Uh, we change all the uh, lower limit is to B A and upper limit is to B B. That is A to B P X G one X minus P X G two X. Dx, and then we use the uh, change the sign. That's p x g two x minus p x g one x dx. Use fundamental theorem. That here in the bracket the y changes but x x keep uh, keep uh, keep fixed so we can view that the bracket in the bracket is a function of y so that's uh, the fundamental theorem from a to b fx dx that is fb minus fa and uh, the derivative of can be right as actually this can be right as derivative of f x capital f x so f b minus f a is as the derivative of f integral in uh, integration from a to b so actually this can be right as in the bracket, in the bracket, that is, uh, this is a, this is b, g2, g2 is b. Uh, the derivative of p in terms of y, and then dy, dx. 
This actually just is the double integral as negative. It's the double integral on D. That's partial P, partial Y, D, Y, D, X. That's the double integral. And for and for Q, for Q, Q, X, Y, D, Y, this is a uh, um, convex, it's a convex domain, so we can use as y type then, then it, because it's convex so we can write it as y as a function of x uh, the, this part is x uh, when x is a function of y at h 1 y this part is x equals h 2 y and the direction is this direction So the we still use this as L1, this is L2. So the Q X Y D Y is actually L1 Q X Y D Y plus L2 Q X Y D Y. On L1 is a function X equals H1 Y if this is c this is d uh, y is from basic direction y is from d to c and on l2 x equals h2 y y from c to d So L1 QX Y D Y plus L2 QX Y D Y on L1 is from D to C QX is H1 Y Y D Y H2 on L2, on L2 is from C to D. X is H2Y and then DY. We change the upper uh, and lower limiter to be from C to D. So that is Q, H2Y, Y minus q h1 y as y d y so that's q h2 minus q h1 use the fundamental fundamental theorem again that is the partial q partial x because y keeps keeps uh, fixed y is kept fixed that's uh, that's x changes so that x from h1y to h2y and dx dy actually is the double integral partial q partial x dx dy so we uh, so for convex for convex domain Pxy plus uh, dx plus qxy dy on L. That is double integral partial q partial x minus partial p partial y and then dx dy. And for general general domain. For general domain, F is 
the domain for if this domain we can separate into 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 domains. The first uh, the for D1 the direction as this and for D2 a direction as this but there is on the assistant line is is this direction so for the assistant L3 is uh, one positive one negative so they cancelled system yes. the line integral cancelled we will separate into uh, for generous uh, for general domain we separate it into uh, several convex domains that's the line integral uh, use the green theorem okay now we use green theorem to evaluate line integrals use double integral the first example is a value h the line integral x square y dx minus x y square dy well l is the positive Positive oriented circle x square plus y square equals four. The positive oriented in the green theorem we will always uh, always demand that the boundary the orientation of the boundary curve is positive oriented. So by Green theorem, the line integral x square y dx minus x y square dy is actually the domain. The domain is x square plus y square less or equal to four. Uh, partial partial x that is negative the p the q is negative x y square minus partial partial y x square y and dx dy x square plus y square that's or equal to 4. This is negative y square minus x square dx dy. That is actually negative x square plus y square. That's or equal to 4. x square plus y square dx dy. Because, because it's a circle, so we use polar, polar coordinates because the domain is like this it's two it's two so use polar coordinates it changes to be 0 to 2 pi and uh, the the row the row is from 0 to 2 row square x square plus y square that is row square dx dy that is a row D row D theta. 
that is negative 0 to 2 pi uh, 1 fourth rho of 4 that is 0 to 2 d theta that is 16 over 4 that is negative 4 times theta from 0 to 2 pi that is negative 8 pi That's the closed, the green theorem always uh, used for closed uh, curve. Okay, that's the nine integrals. Mm, the second example. Grows mm, nine inch grows F D R where F equals two X of Y minus X square. I plus x plus y square g and uh, L is enclosed uh, L is L is positive Curl uh, consists of y equals square. y square equals x from 0, 0, 2, 1, 1. The solution is uh, first we draw the graph. The graph is uh, y equals x square is here and y square equals x so that's one one that's origin so the direction is this way so the by green theorem line integral f dot dr that is the double integral partial q partial x that is x plus y square minus partial uh, p partial y that is 2xy minus x square dx dy that's d that's one uh, partial partial x that's one uh, minus partial partial y that is two x dx dy so the d is here so d can be right as x y x is from zero to one and y is from 
uh, x square to square root x. So the integral d1 minus 2x dx dy can be write as x from 0 to 1 y from x squared to square root x 1 minus 2x mm, dy uh, we'd better to use x the first <coughs> uh, that's actually the same thing so it's from 0 to 1 1 minus 2x times square root x minus 1 minus 2x times x square dx 0 to 1 square root x minus 2x uh, 3 over 2 minus x square plus 2x cube dx that is uh, 2 over 3x 3 over 2 minus uh, 4 over 5x 5 over 2 minus 1 third x cube plus uh, 1 half x 4 that's 0 to 1 that's 2 over 3 minus 4 over 5 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 half that is uh, 1 third 1 third plus 1 half minus 4 over 5 At, uh, that's this is uh, 25 25 over 30 25 over 30 as yes, 30 10 over 30 plus 12 uh, 15 over 30 minus uh, 24 over 30 that's uh, 1 over 30 that's the line integrals Nine integrals uh, using the Green theorem. Uh, next time uh, we will use Green theorem to evaluate line integrals in different conditions. Maybe sometimes, uh, sometimes may maybe uh, we cannot use Green theorem directly in some conditions, and uh, and then how. Uh, can how can we use green theorem to evaluate those uh, line integrals?